All right, guys, um, Fuller coming to you with another commentary. This is probably going to be like a three-part commentary because, you know, like, again, things just come to me and um, I just go off of those things. But the first part, this guy is giving you game, okay? And you should really take heed to the game he's giving you, you know, and I've been taking heed to this game. As a matter of fact, this game has been called, it has led me to be called broke by females. This game has led to be called like that I'm not a real man, that I'm not this, that, and the other, because I rather my resources go to something tangible. Because um, the way I look at it, a modern Western woman is a liability. She's not an asset, you know? She's not an asset to your life. So you have to look at it like that because by having a liability means that more of your assets are gonna go to her. Whereas if you wanna build up assets, you need the, the, the monetary means to do so. You know what I mean? And so I'd rather build assets than, you know, spend my money and my hard earned resources on liabilities. And this guy's going to kind of break it down to you. And then we'll tackle the second part. You know, there's a reason why I F with Zoe's heavy, you know, and there's a reason why they F with me heavy. You know, like I might as well just call myself an adopted Haitian man or something like that because of how heavy we rock with one another. But I knew I knew there was a reason why we connected, you know. Well, let's listen. Why it's hard to get money out of Haitian men? Why is it that it's so hard to get money from you guys? Because I work hard for my money. Just because you got vagina don't mean I'm supposed to give you my money. Man. That's true. Like, that's the thing. Like, like they act like this is the this is the end all and be all, you know what I mean? Like, what? Like modern women think that because they have vaginas, that we're supposed to just give everything for that. Because by nature, men are more physical. Well, I don't know about now. Shoot, I really don't know about now, but. Men by nature are more physical creatures, so of course we're gonna want sex, but at the same time, it's like, well, if sex is all she offers, then <laughs> you know, like, what's the point? I mean, you don't work for that, I work for that. You have to go and work for that if you want that. You want me to you you go to this the the restaurant as we go in the restaurant you tell me um you want to get um um lobster you want to get um 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 bossel sprout and, and that stuff no you have to get chicken wing it's true like yeah like you have to earn lobster like you have to show me that like you're worth lobster I'm not about to just drop money for you. Because here's the thing, if you, if you do that, yeah, if you like, if you leave with your wallet and you take a woman out and you get her the lobster, she's going to basically look at you and be like, oh, okay, I got this guy. Like, I know what, I, I, I know what position to play with this guy. You know what I mean? That's how she's going to look at you. She ain't going to look at you like how you're looking at her. You know, like by you trying to wine and dine her, you're trying to like court her. But in reality, she's just trying to suck you dry. So, yeah, take her to Popeye's. Yeah, take her to Popeye's. If you're feeling up to it, like, I mean, you can always, you know, bust out with the wing stops, you know, lemon pepper, Cajun flavor with them fries. And, and that can be it. Chicken wings? You have Sir. to get wings. Okay, I don't I'm care. You can you tell them you want all flats. That's no problem with me. 
You do you want all doom? That's nothing with me. But you ask for a lobster. I don't know if you them. I don't know. I never see your 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 your, your cocoa. You tell me you want lobster. But Mr. Long Time Asian man, you're bright. Chicken wing. You I don't know you. I just meet you, I take you on the date. And it's true, you don't know these women. That's the thing. You don't know these women. You don't know their past. You don't know anything about them. So, like, why even wine and dine them when most of them are damaged anyway? Don't waste your money on damaged women. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say a good, like, 95% of Western women are damaged, you know? So don't spend money on them. Or if you do, let it be some, like, pop, as I said, Popeyes, Wingstop, churches. Um, what else is a good little chicken spot? We have a, we have a spot in the hood called Golden Bird. You know, spend money on that. This the first second date. You want to tell me you want lobster? I don't know you, man. But I you never see your panties. Mr. I Hitchman, never see you're your panty, me. man. I don't know your panty. I don't know, man. Mr. I don't Hitchman, know you. You have the. I have the. You know what? You have time alone, Mister. You, so you, 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 Jamaican woman, like to use your vagina to get things. I don't like that. Well, you good, understand? Good. And and that's not just Jamaican women. That's all women. Like I mean, as I said, like before, um most women mo most women's like wounds are for sale to the highest bidder but unfortunately when you find like when looking for that highest bidder she goes through the sucker beta males who will give her resources as well and she may give them like pity sex or, or something like that you know but usually the highest bidder is going to pump and dump her too. You know, but maybe sometimes the highest bidder is a beta male and she's getting resources from him. She's using him, giving him sex here and there. And then she's like, ah, maybe I can do better. And then the guy who does, like, who she thinks she can do better with is the guy who, um, like, does her dirty. Good you, pussy cost. It cost. I don't know if it's good pussy, man. I don't know that it because could. I know I don't I don't push the so so in the coco, man. I don't manage coco. Nothing happened. We just and it's true. Like that's the thing too. Like don't let it fool you. Um, these women will say that oh I got that bomb or and stuff like that, and it's been ran through. You know, like it looks like pastrami. Don't don't be fooled. You know, it, a lot of times it's damaged goods. A lot of times you you can try to stick your your manioca inside and it's like going into the abyss. You know, what I mean, don't don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. You know, what I mean, really do not be fooled with it. Most of the time it's smelly, too. I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even cap. Sometimes, like, I remember I took a um, I took a Uber, and they had the Uber carpool or whatever, and then there was this one. The, unfortunately, the Uber driver was a beta male simp, you know. Um, and he and I asked him. I'm like, yo, can you? I'll, I'll even give you a tip if you can um, just like not do the carpool thing, you know, I because I chose the wrong option. I didn't want to do the Uber pool. I chose the wrong thing. So so I even said, yo, I'll give you a tip if you um, if you, you know, what I mean, <laughs> if you just skip the carpool. He didn't though. And he picked up this one girl and her shit stank badly. Stank up the But yeah, he was still simping. Sit down and talk and you 
you want to get lobster like that, that's no good. No, man. You 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 go to the man that that fuck you, man. Wow. You Asian man is very cheap. When I don't like pay for food, can't if you everything. give me the eh, 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 I buy you everything. I make sure you okay. So okay. I'm supposed to give up my good pussy first. Yes, man. And it's true. Like, listen. Listen. <clears throat> if you if if you if you're a woman and you know and and if and if you're the guy who has his thing together he's working hard he his life is you know his life is in order he's as they call it I hate to use this word well actually I'm going to use another word he's progressing then then yeah she sh the woman should be part of his program and she should add to that program because I'm going to tell you something bro as I said before if she's into you she's going to do your bidding okay but she has to be really into you like I, I'm, I kid you not. Women who want to invest in you will invest in you. They will buy you things. They'll be like, hey, you know, I, I saw these things at the, I saw these pair of kicks at the mall. I thought you would like maybe look cool in them. You want them? And they'll do it like randomly. They won't do it like, they won't do it like how, like, during just birthdays and stuff like that, they'll do it randomly and then they'll give you, of course, they're going to like, you know, if they're really into you, they're going to give you the, 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 um, they're going to give you the poom poom, you know? I'm supposed to give my money. That is a part of I, dating, sir. I work for it, we. That is a part of dating. You no, that's the the dating. Dating is when you sit down and talk over dinner. It's not because you got vagina. You want to eat lobster. Some of some of you Jamaican women never eat lobster until you go on date. You don't eat lobster in your house. When and that's the thing. And you know it's crazy because, like, again, I, 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 hey, hey, don't say I didn't warn you, okay. I said it before, I said it again. The Western woman's mindset should not travel outside of the United States, but it has begun. You know, um, I remember Kevin Samuels. He had an Ivorian woman on there. That Ivorian woman was so combative and so toxic like a black American woman. It wasn't even funny. And I'm looking at her with my eyebrows raised up and then confusing because she should know better. She comes from a place where that shit doesn't go down. Okay, that's the thing. If you go to Abidjan, if you go to Yamasuko, if you go to any of these districts, you're not going to see that shit go down. Okay. Ivorian women from what I've met have been very much submissive. So when I saw that, I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what, what's going on here? Why is she arguing? And then on top of that, she started talking about, it, 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 it was crazy. It was crazy. So what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. This mentality is spreading and it, it, it needs not to spread anymore. Okay. South Africa has it bad right now. Um, Jamaica definitely has it bad right now. Someone was telling me. And now one of the homies was telling me Bahamas is getting it bad right now. And, and and they it needs to be stopped, you know. 
you come out on date and you know somebody else is have to pay for it, then you talk about like lobster. Give me two um fillet mignon and them thing. You want you want to get steak and all this thing. No, you know you eat you eat um you eat mackerel at home. <laughs> and that's true. Like these women, man, they they talk about like oh you know the last guy who took me out he. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll tell you a story. Um, th there was this one girl. Um, yeah, I wasn't gonna entertain her. You know, I, I I had no intentions on entertaining her. But I was in Marina Del Rey. For people that don't know, like Marina Del Rey is one of these, like beach kind of like cities or whatever like that. And. Um, what happened was um, she um, she basically um, like like she saw me in um, the darn Amazon store and you know she, the crazy thing is she had the audacity to just say you know. And mind you, I didn't even like, I wasn't even trying to approach her. I wasn't even trying to do anything like that. Um, she had the audacity to just say that I'll let you take me out and we can go to the roof, Chris. And I'm like, man, I don't even know you. Like, I'm not going to spend no roof, Chris money on someone I don't even know. Let alone, I'm not going to spend it on you, Western woman. I look on her IG and she eating damn top ramen and shit like that. And she asking for some damn Ruth Chris. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> when you're in your house, you eat mackerel. You eat, you eat corned beef. But when you come out and it's me to pay, you want to come lobster. No. So you really out of order. So the one little time somebody you take somebody out, you want to just have them eat whatever you want them to eat. You have to eat in my budget. Facts. Shout outs to him, man. Shout outs to him. But now let's look at something that came to me today. And you know, I have to protect myself when um doing commentary on this uh this Jezebel you know and and um and again unfortunately people support her people say oh she's just speaking her truth oh she's just doing this that and the other but um let, let's let's look at what's happening with 304 Renner oh moved into my new place today y'all when I tell you, I've been thugging, okay? Like, we live with my mom and my sister. It's me, my mom, and my sister. Okay, so first and foremost, she says that she moved into her new place. And it's like, it ain't even your place. It, it's your mom's place. Like, what the hell? How can you say, like, you moved into your new place? And it's like, okay, well, you're saying that. And it's like, it doesn't belong to you. You know? Like, wh wh why are you saying my new place? And it's like, it's not even your place. My baby, I mean, because, you know, I, two and a half months when I decided to leave if it was two and a half months old i don't have anywhere to go i didn't even have a car i still don't have a car okay well something's not adding up here let me let me see something something's not adding up um i got rid of my car hold on let me see two and a half months when i decided to leave if it was two and a half months old i don't have anywhere to go I didn't even have a car. I still don't have a car. Okay, so you 
finesse the dude and now his child support payments are allegedly two hundred thousand dollars to you how in the hell are you not going to have anywhere to go and how are the how in the hell are you not going to have a car like this makes no sense to me like with two hundred thousand you can put like a even in LA, $200,000 down payment on like a, a damn like duplex a, a, or, or a threeplex or something like that is very doable if you're getting that per month. Hell, I mean, a car, shit. You only need like 10 racks for a damn like nice nice car can you can get a nice nice car for 10 racks so you mean to tell me you don't have a car and you didn't have a place to stay but you're getting this amount of child support what what's not adding up here am i am i missing something um i got rid of my car you know, cause, you know, empty promises, whatever. But uh, <laughs> I've been thinking so hard, bitch. Bitch, this has really been the hardest time of my life. And here I am. <laughs> Cause I well, you at, well, the reason why, if it is the hardest time, you brought it upon yourself. You know, you plan, but a lot of plans too. And a lot is the and a lot is the best of planners. You know. So you brought this on yourself. Oh, somebody right? Cause he, yeah. That to say. Don't ever relinquish your independence for a relationship. Follow your dreams. Not okay, so now she's now with this feminism bullshit. Um, you know, the thing is, is yeah, I've said it before. And I'll say it again. Uh, single women keep women single. Um, as a matter of fact, uh it's actually happened to me a couple of times um when i was like younger there was women who were single you know they were single stuff like that you know a girl she was into me this is when i was like way younger though when i was like little boy and shit <laughs> but she was into me stuff like that and you know she liked me. not your boyfriend and she, but yet her friends got in her ear and um you know it, she ended up like falling under the influence of her friends who were all single you know what i mean so this is how it works you know and a, a lot of these women, a lot of single mothers especially, are going to try to keep, unfortunately, the younger generation single too, which is the unfortunate thing, you know, but this is what they do. A man is not a financial plan. Always. A man is not a financial plan. Huh. A man is not a financial plan. But wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let me see something. Let me see something. See, they're really dumb. <laughs> I experienced the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> okay, well, if that was you before. And now you're saying that a man is not a financial plan and you're getting child support from a man. Which one is it? Are, are you a schizo? 
Like, are you, are you retarded or what's the deal? Like, do you have multiple personalities or, or what, what, what's going on? Have your own things. <laughs> I honestly feel like since this situation, I don't think even if I was married, I can't see myself not having my own house outside of the main house. Like I would. So in essence, you hear how she's just talking, like just murmuring bullshit. You hear how she hear like she's saying that, saying that if she was married, she would still have a house outside the marriage for herself. Like. The only reason why. Maybe you would want a house outside the marriage is if you had a husband who had more than one wife. Then it's understood. You know, then you can like if he had like maybe four wives. Then, yeah, that would be logical to keep a dip, a separate house. You know. But other than that. She sounds like an idiot. To have that around space. Maybe that would change the time. Who knows? But also, it's crazy. Like people, they want to see you fail. Honestly, I don't want to see her fail. I just want to see her gone. You know, I don't want to hear about her, um, Blue Jasmine, or these or or the like thereof. Like I just I just don't want to see them there. You know, I just don't want to see them here, like in in the public space. You know, in in those who are like them, I, I don't want to see them. You know, I I just wish that men and women alike will stop keeping them relevant. And unfortunately, what's going to happen is you will have a beta male simp who will take her on and say, OK, it's not her fault. Let me try to um, let me try to reprogram her. It's unfortunate, but, you know, this is how it would go. Oh, they want to see you fail when you don't. Oh, they have no control over you. They can't do anything. Well, nobody already, nobody has control of you anyway, you know, like e even, even with people, um, wanting to see you fail, they still don't have control over you. If, if they didn't want to see you fail, they still wouldn't have any control over you. Look at her face though. Look at this. Look at, look at how evil she looks. Look at her. Look. Look. You fucking do is win. My God, this girl's still here. <laughs> Cause I thought somebody thought there was. Yeah, I thought. You thought. We all thought. <laughs> okay, well, if you're winning. Why are you talking about moving in with your mom? Why are you also talking about not having a car? If you're winning. I want to say thank you to the people on all social media platforms that continue. God, don't cry. That to, uh, mm, that continue. She's about to cry. I wonder why she's crying. Because my thing is this. She should be rolling in the bankroll. I mean, she's been on DJ Academics. She's been on um, who else? Uh, the No Jumper. She was on that. And she was on that a couple of times, actually. She was on. Um, oh, what else? I mean, I don't know what kind of conditions came with the Kevin Samuels interview, but, you know, she she did that, too. Um, so I'm really wondering, like, why is she moving in with her mom and her sister if 
she even said on different podcasts that she has business ventures and stuff like that. Like, are these business ventures yielding money? What's the deal? You to support me? Because this shit's a fucking privilege to have. I'm so fucking thankful. I swear to God, I see the world with a whole different set of eyes now. No, you don't. Come on. No, you don't. And the problem is people who do support her. I mean, that's the issue, really. Like, you guys who do support her, you guys need to cut that shit out, you know? And it's not not like we're jealous or anything. Like, it's, it's, it's not like there's no... It, like there's some jealousy or anything we can care less about the popularity it's just that the message that she's sending across is what we're trying to stop you know that that's my intention of making these it, unfortunately that was my intention of having to put my ski mask on and my bulletproof vest and my army fatigues in this gender war was to stop this message from spreading. It can't. It can't leave. This message has to stay confined within the United States as much as possible. So it's not about. It's not about like hating her or anything. It's just about hating what she stands for. But at the same time, she is pretty creepy and scary looking. You know, look at this shit. Let me zoom in. She looks scary, bro. Look at her. She looks evil now. Well, she always did, but she looks more evil now. I really do. Thank you for the people who continue to support me despite the fuckery that I've had to endure. You put yourself through that. You put yourself through that. You know, that's one thing about Western women, too. Is they'll say, oh, you know, I went through this. Oh, you know, I've had to go through this. Oh, like I had to go through the these relationships and stuff like that and it's like yo you put yourself through it you know this is what you wanted and so that's what you got so you know this is how it usually goes after being lied on Thank you to my real friends and my family that aren't yes men that have my fucking back. Because that's about the only reason I have some of my sanity. <laughs> Just thank you. And thank you for to the universe. Okay, so she said some of her sanity. She has no sanity. You know, that's the thing. She has no sanity. She's about to check out, as a matter of fact. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens sooner than later, you know. She's about to check out. For redirection. Thank God I didn't get what I thought I wanted. Well, I mean, you did get what you wanted. You wanted the fame. Now you're famous. You know, you're Instagram famous, maybe not like mainstream famous, but you're definitely like Instagram famous. So like you did get that. And again, I'm assuming you got your um, your two hundred thousand dollar child child support, which you say you were going to get. So, you know. Okay, I'll take a few months of disappointment over a lifetime of disappointment. I forgot. Well, it's going to be a lifetime for of disappointment because of what you're known for. Again, I revert back to uh, Karen Stephens. 
aka Superhead. She's not known for anything else. Although she tries to be known for something else. She's not known for it though. You know, it's as sad as it sounds that like, you know, nobody re- really remembers Holly Berry for any of her other movie roles except for Monsters Ball. You know what I mean? That that those are the, that's what they really remember her for. They don't remember her in like different movies. Hell, they don't even remember her in Catwoman or none of those movies. You know, they remember her for Monsters Ball. And what was the reason why they remember her the most in that role? Leave after the first lie. You know, people can change, but they rarely do. When people are lying about... Now she's putting all the blame on probably P.J. Washington. Now, and, and again, the dude's in the NBA, so of course he's going to have women. You just have to, it's, it's up to you to play your position, okay? He has options. He's a young millionaire. What they're lying about, ain't no fixing that. Ain't no coming back from that, bro. That's how you rock it. If that's how you rock and I ain't rolling. Last thing. A lot of people are afraid to leave relationships. Well, you weren't because you were going to get a bag. So obviously you weren't going to be afraid to leave. And you're looking for another one. You're looking for another sucker. And unfortunately, another sucker is, is going to step up and do it. Fear of missing out. Like, oh, I built this person up. You know, no one else is going to reap the benefits. Uh, I don't want to start over. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Who's going to want me? Especially as a mom. Well, she's talking about herself. You know, I mean, again, the only people who are going to want her are, again, weak men. You know, and she's now a single mother. So why would th- why would people even bother with her? Cause you know, fucking moms, we're just shamed for everything. Okay, now she's trying to play the blame game and stuff like that. Now she's this on this woe is me bullshit. You hear this? No one's gonna want to be with you. You have a kid, you know. Yeah, it's true. I mean, at the end of the day, like if if she knows what time it is now. She knows what time it is. And the only reason why someone would want to be with a woman who has a kid is if they have kids and they bring the families together. There's just fear of le- leaving, fear of just looking stupid. The only time you look stupid is when you allow yourself to look stupid. You don't- you're doing that a lot right now. Every time you talk, you're making yourself look stupid. Don't look stupid when something doesn't work out and bitch you've had enough it did not or it not even doesn't have to be i had enough it's this doesn't work for me we are not a match we are not a vibrational match and i'm gonna be on my way you know i notice when um when women are done dealing with the the, the getting out of their situations they start to get on these conscious words and this conscious this conscious um thing you know like high vibrations and you know frequencies and all that stuff they always use that shit that's after they get uh ran through or get gutted in you know and they're tired of it yeah i'm smart bitch because i don't have time to waste my energy is sacred and i treat it as that No, you don't. Shut that shit up. Your energy is evil. Okay. Oh, moved into my new place today. Well, there you have it, bro. There you have it, guys. She checking out. You know what I mean? So, probably the next step is her probably screaming on IG Live. 
or something like that. But anyhow, man, just goes to show you what time it is with these women. You know, she thought she was like, she thought she was winning. But I don't know where her child support situation is, but if she moving in with her mom and don't even have a car, she's obviously losing. But anyhow, man, fool is signing out. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Enjoy it, man.